Okay guys, Smoky Canopy here. Just a little video. I was tagged by Karen. And um, just uh, your everyday carry pocket dump, basically. And I've got keys. Which are me and my boy. There you go. My name's Young. Uh, lighter. I don't smoke, but this is like one of the most exciting things that you can have in your pouch. Uh, fire stills and stuff are good. These are even better. I do have a fire still, which is with my Victronox blue pocket knife. It's in the car, and the wife stole it to go out for the day. So uh, I'm kind of like without that at the moment. So in my pocket is my little knife. And pliers which clips onto here um, which you've seen in another video and I have a folder which is um, quite good it's got the loop I've seen this in one of my videos before as well this is just an EDC dump pouch update but when I was fishing I got some pink dye on it <laughs> I was thinking of taking all the bits off and going full pink and then giving it to the wife as a present because that'd be quite hilarious so I've upgraded and bought a new one um, M-Tech sharp as gorgeous little thing it's got them both sides for those left handers amongst us and it says USA Design M-Tech MT Let's see if I can get that focus Yeah, maybe. Hmm. There you go. Anyway, there you go. MG three seven six four forty standard still USA design. It's got that little bit there, and then it's got the blade. It's got a lovely rubberized handle and it's got that nice black leaf tree design on it I think it's a mossy oak I'm not 100 sure so that has replaced that one uh, this stays in the fish kit now but I'm just showing you this is the new knife for my everyday carry and just for security it goes in the little black pouch thing before it goes in my bag so these are my keys this is my camel multi tool. It's given to me by my brother. And that knife. And this has now. Um, this was a present at Christmas. This is one of the knives I carry. And this is my old faithful, my legule, which my brother gave me for my 40th. Uh, three years ago, no, nearly three years ago. Um, I love this, it's beautiful, it's a really nice knife. Used to lock, but I disabled the lock, and the blade is just over three inches. I mean, if you're in a situation where you got arrested or something because you had it or you used it, or you're in a situation where you shouldn't have been there, then that half an inch is going to cause you grief, but uh. You're just behaving yourself and where you're supposed to be at all times and you've got it in your pouch and you get a search. Copper's not really going to say much as long as you've got a good excuse. And my excuse is I take it to scouts. I'm a scout leader. Um, soak it. Linen thread. Two lots. There's a big needle in there. Loads of little needles in that pack and some pins. It means you can do the job. Lots of skull beads in there as well for some reason. But you can just see... Sticking out there at the back, there's a angled needle. She's uh, taking his mind up, what he wants to do. There you go, it's focused again. Um, another thing I keep in my pouch, this is my pouch, which is a Finnish army gas mask case. Got loads of little pouches and holes and stuff in there. And um, this is what I keep with me. This is what I take to work with me. This is what I take as my handbag, man bag when I go out. So I've also got it with me. The thing that never leaves my side 
of course is my keys with my lighter and a knife those are always in my pockets might not be this knife it might be my victrinox or it might be uh my camouflage one or it might just be a multi-tool less likely to get in trouble with this guy than anything else um and it does more stuff um obviously you can't bat in the white files with it so so far in the list the bag knife keys um multi tool those go every day everywhere back up to that in the bag i have sewing kit hand gel not just because you can light it and all that kind of stuff though it is a bit of a pain to light um um sanitation you at work got your hands dirty just fix the car you know three fingers going in your mouth to hold that nail or do that thingy sanitize some electrical tape uh, it's blue uh, you can mark trails with it you can do anything like that you, you know the uses for electrical tape i'm not going to bore you compass sight compass um i wanted the compass i've got a silver which i paid 10 15 quid for this is a really good uh m tech design uh, when i say m tech i mean military tech design it's not a she's gorgeous um sight and line for map reading measurements uh everything picked it up car boot 50p um Gorgeous. Bomb proof basically. Love it. Now that price, I'm not complaining. It's got everything on there. It's even got a little hook. So you can hang it from a lanyard or whatever. And if you're out, you can put it with my whistle. Uh, 1936 Scout Whistle. Um, been a Scout Master. It's an MK Boy Scouts England official. <coughs> Loud as. You get lost in the woods with that, someone's going to hear you coming. Or, oh, sorry, not coming, but looking for you. Brew kit. Don't go into that. It's just tea, coffee, a couple of hot chocolate sachets in there, and a couple of soup sachets. Uh, not a lot. All fits in the bag. Torch. And spare batteries. It's only a little head torch. It's only a look around camera and stuff. It will do trails, I know, because I use it quite a lot. Um, tissues. Nose, bum, wounds, whatever. These are menthol. Um, I'll swap these out for my other ones because I've just replaced the pack because there's no many left in there. <laughs> Don't stick menthol in wounds. Use a uh, piece of t-shirt or bandana or whatever. Oh, that reminds me, where's my bandana? Right, new bit of kit. This is a Elk Ridge 40 foot of uh, cord there. And the strands make it 40 foot. Wood handled. Uh, custom design, 440 stainless. Uh, hand forged in China. Hand forged. Don't care where it's made, if it's a hand forged blade, that's you know, means a bit more than machine made. Um just get it out. Uh, my other little thing that comes in here is my sharpening stone, which is in my bag, and it's just a two sided, one rough and one smooth. I like the little hexy nuts. If anything's going to go on this, it's that when you're hitting it with something. I would put it on top of the piece of wood, smack it with a log. Safety blade for your knife. Um, nine quid, 12, 15 quid, something like that. I know it's not very thick, but um, cutting game up, anything you've trapped, snared, fish, deheading, whatever. Get that blade sharp enough, you can use it as another blade, you know bringing it in, powering it, stuff like that. So that's another thing that goes in my bag. 
tin. Lighter. Loads of char cloth. Now the char cloth is for, not for the lighter obviously, it's for the fire steel, which I normally have with me, but it's in my grab kit, which is in the car uh, from Scouts on Wednesday. Um, I'm not going anywhere to get lost. Obviously, if I was going out anywhere to get lost, I would pick it up on the way. So, rations. Bol goji Korean style beef jerky. Um, two or three pieces of that in a pint of water makes it taste nice. Um, you're going for flavour. You're not going for calories and stuff. It's just nice when I'm out on the trail. I make myself a hot beef drink by using that. It's really nice. And of course, mug shot. That goes in the bag as well. That's basically, this is just what I take out for a day. So now you're wondering, what do I cook in? Second World War, or dated, I'm not quite 100% sure of the date. East German or Russian, I'm or German mug. I can boil water in that. I can make my tea and stuff. My water bottle um, is a plastic one or a metal one, depends what I take with me. And that goes in the little side pocket on the side of here. Goes with the brew kit and everything else. Now my favourite thing in there. Poncho. Uh, British Army DPM. Excellent condition, five off the market. The bag I made myself, if anybody's seen the videos on my YouTube channel. And then here, another little bag, paracord. Orange for um, um, cutting into um, markers for trees for getting lost. Yellow, the same. Orange on one side, yellow on the other. So you follow the trail back so you don't get lost and just keep on following yourself around. And then um, green and brown in there for putting up the poncho. There's about 50 to 60 feet of uh, line in there. <coughs> sometimes I take it, sometimes I don't, because it's quite bulky. That is the another knife. I know what you're thinking, how many knives do you need to go out on a day? Well, this isn't... Like I said, sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. I don't normally light fires when I'm out. I take hexiblops, methanol for my little stove, or I take my gas stove, which goes in my big rucksack. But this is my grab bag, okay? Little fire light goes in there, fire steel. It's a nice knife, it's a nice thick blade, it's stainless. Uh, you can hit that with a big stick all day long. The tan goes all the way through. Um, comes with a nice little... Uh, Whatever this is called, I can't remember now. I've been up for too long. But anyway, yeah. Cordura. That's it. Pouch. So, between all the knives, choice of, all the day rations, you know, hot water, roast chicken, uh, put some beef in there if you want, grab some greens when you're out there, uh, leaves, wood sorrel, um, goose grass, whatever you want. Um, just pack it out it's only a little cup but if I take my one litre metal bottle with me I can fill it up once it's been boiled or I can even put my metal bottle in the fire I've got an American GI um, uh, metal bottle and bottle cup fits on the bottom uh, there is a little pouch for that I've seen on the internet I've never picked it up um, I also use mess tins uh, not mess tins, uh, billy tins and other stuff you've seen on my site. But if I'm going anywhere, just for the day, it sits in the car. Okay, This is my scout kit and whatever else. So there you go, guys. That's an answer to Karen's what's in your bag. Um, I'll have a bit more. But uh, I've got to go now. Um, I need to get to bed. So, Bye, guys. Thanks for that. See you later.